Well, it's appearing more and more that our Biden administration has worked out some kind of deal with Iran to retaliate and hit them somewhere for the loss of our American soldiers. That's where we've come to today. You got to work out a deal to, hey, we're going to hit you at three o'clock tomorrow evening. Be sure your people's not nowhere near there when we do it, right? This, the definition of things, we've been at war, but yet they're just not calling it a war, right? They're, they're saying we're not at war. We're not trying to escalate nothing. But yet, what, over 160 attacks on our troops over in the Middle East, but yet we're not at war. We're working out some kind of deal with them so we can retaliate and not make the war, or go into a war, as they're calling it now. So, I mean, it's getting to the point of just ridiculousness. They're saying now that Biden doesn't want to start a war because it's election year. That doesn't make no sense, right? We all know it's hard to unseat an American president during wartime, but... You got the trucker convoy. If you if you're subscribed to my channel on my community page, I shared a video of a guy who was in the area, and he's saying there's not maybe one truck down there. So, you know, it's all this stuff is smoke and mirrors to keep us all on the edge of our seat. Right, we're all like, what's fixing to happen next? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen there? And of course, you're hearing mainstream media, you know, YouTubers, everything telling you that any minute we're going to go to war you know everybody's going to die there's going to be nuclear weapons i've told you russia using nuclear weapons i don't see it, a need for it but the middle east you could possibly see one used over there if they got their hands on one i think they would use it they may already have them my whole life i'm 46 fixing to be 47 and as long as i can remember i've always heard iran's right near having nuclear weapons they're right there at it so do they have them? They probably already have them or they have the stuff to make them, right? America, I don't see us using a nuclear weapon, but some people are getting all upset and panicked over all this. If you'll notice what's actually going on here, it's almost like I, I, Iran said we was not, it was an accident that it got, that, that it killed people, right? If you're drone attacking, missiles, whatever, your intent is to damage or kill people that you're hitting and attacking, right? Do you see what I'm talking about? I couldn't understand how all these bases were getting attacked anyways, but yet nobody was getting injured. Then all of a sudden somebody got injured, but you gotta remember what's going on. The Texas border situation was all over the news, right? All over the news, the National Guard and the federal government, and this and that, and the Texans are gonna start fighting each other, right? There's gonna be a shootout, it's gonna be the Alamo again. Well, right when that heats way up, what happens? We get soldiers killed in the Middle East. You know, could it be coincidence? It could, but a lot of the stuff that's coincidence happens too easily, right? It's almost like all this stuff is a stage. You know, we're watching a show, a movie, a play or something. I've told you, this is like pro wrestling. The script is already rolled out how this goes, and we're just sitting there watching, trying to figure out what's going on, but they already know. You know, guys, this weekend, I'm going to keep doing what I do. We're going to be cutting up logs. We're going to be doing woodworking project, projects, but we're going to keep prepping. That's why it's so key to keep prepping because at any minute, something could get out of hand, right? And I've told you before, it does not have to be a worldwide event to cause a SHTF situation. It could be as simple as you getting sick, somebody getting hurt, or anything, right? And you're able to sit back and be like, all right, that's one less worry I have to have. I've got food for X amount of weeks or months, right? Or I've got money put back to pay these bills or that bills for X amount of months, right? That's the way it is. You've got to be able to, to take care of yourself at any time and the people around you if that's what you're choosing to do. I'm sorry if you're hearing that. I got a cat over here playing in a bag. I can see that it's showing. So if you're hearing it, it's a little cat messing around with a bag. But people nowadays, some people don't believe in prepping. They think it's a waste of time because they can go to the store and get whatever they want, right? They can get this or get that. Well, one thing that's happening now is you're seeing is prices are getting more and more expensive. I did a short video yesterday, and let me make something clear on that short video. That was a sale going on at that local uh, grocery store. Our normal prices are a little bit higher than that. Some of y'all commented that you are paying double that price, which is just absolutely ridiculous to me. But that was sale prices. You know, our, our meat around here averages about maybe a third more than that on average. But it's, to me, that's high. But like I've told you before, our average bring home pay for the area I'm in. 
average bring home after your taxes, your insurance, everything's took out of your checks, is anywhere from nine to twelve dollars an hour. And if you're having to pay rent and all that, you know, my car insurance has went up thirty dollars this year for no reason. It shot up thirty bucks, right? No tickets, no wrecks, no nothing, but the car insurance went up thirty dollars. It's a month, not a year, a month. And somebody's like, that's not much. Well, it is when you're already pinching pennies. You know, when you're already sitting there debating on, well, do, do I pay this bill or that bill this month, right? You know, a lot of people's in worse situation than I am, and I know that. But they're going to keep getting their money any way they can get it out of. It's either be taxes, your bills are going to keep going up, and of course they're going to say, it used to be because the fuel prices was up, that's why everything went up, right? Well, guess what? Fuel prices have come back down pretty good, but yet all the prices have stayed the same. We have not seen an adjustment in prices anywhere, have we? To get back on point, it's looking like we've worked out a deal with Iran, you know, that we can hit them somewhere and not cause a huge war and also possibly not injured. Because, I mean, if you keep telling people we're coming, we're coming, that gives them time to move their people out, right? It gives them all the time in the world to get their people out, you know. Who knows what's going to happen from this, but I guarantee you next week it'll be something else in the news going on, something drastic, or it may be a slow week and there's nothing going on. Something we're not hearing, we're not hearing much about Ukraine and Russia, even though we're sending billions of dollars over there. Israel, their war, we're not hearing much about that right now. And Texas, that's kind of quieting down, hasn't it? And we're still hearing a little bit about it, but it's quieting down. Now the headlines is the Iran situation. You see? They just keep jumping you from here, 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 and here to keep you confused. See through that BS and understand it's all a big show and you need to focus on you and your family or whoever you're prepping for and focus on y'all. Keep your eyes and ears open on what's going on around in the world, but be sure at any moment, you know, something can happen to you or somebody in your family and it's your SHTF event, you know. We've all been there, I'm sure, and most of y'all know, I, I'm starting back from absolutely nothing from a couple of years ago and building back up. It happens. Sometimes through our own stupidity, sometimes through no control of our own, Sometimes it's from putting trust in the wrong people and you wind up, you know, I tell everybody, I don't trust anyone and I don't trust myself all the time because we all make stupid decisions from time to time. We all do it. But guys, keep prepping. Be ready for anything, but don't be panicked when it does happen and don't worry yourself to death over everything that's going on. Do the best you can do with what you've got. That is the most important thing. Do the best you can do with what you've got. That's all you can do nowadays. Everything has went up so much in price. We've got it. I mean, you have people now, you know, robbing people for groceries, you know, all kind of crazy stuff going on. Stay safe and keep prepping. Keep your head on the swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person that can do it. This video is kind of rambling. We're going to, we're getting up a bunch of deer meat. We're going to my son's tonight. We're going to have a big cookout, kind of an end of the season cookout deal. Our season ends, I believe, February 10th for deer season, but we're going to go ahead and have it now because the weather's nice today, so the grandkids can get outside and stuff. So stay safe and keep prepping.